You're not even qualified, Queen. Oh my goodness. So there is this show that we've seen on this channel before. It's uh, the Pop, Pop the Balloon Game. Essentially, someone comes out, for those of you who haven't seen it, the contestants are given balloons, whether or not they like them. Uh, if they don't, they pop the balloon. Okay, if they do, they go on a date. And <laughs> there's this episode that came out that has, has blown up, okay? It has gone viral. And it's this dude. And he goes on the show, and I, what, how I would describe him is more of a, a strong-headed, okay? He knows who he is, he likes what he likes, he doesn't like what he doesn't like. And he's very vocal and honest about it. This is what it is. He goes on the show, and he immediately, you know, rubs the women the wrong way. Uh, there was this one chick, he says the feeling's mutual, right? She wasn't interested in him. He says feeling's mutual. And what happens is a lot of these women get, get in their feelings about how he expresses, you know, what he doesn't like. Um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show, you know? Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. So uh, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> And the, one of the girls is like, well, I didn't like how you said it. He's like, yo, this is just this is just me. If I don't like something. You can't. I mean, this is just my personality. This is what it is. And I have no problem with that because I think dudes like this and women like this are absolutely fine. If you are who you are and you're confident in who you are and who you are may not vibe with everyone and you just have a way of saying things that may offend many people, well, that is, it is what it is. I respect that. I respect this dude 100%. And guess what? There's always a woman out there who may find that attractive. I would argue probably a good chunk may not, but that's not who he's going for. So he doesn't say anything disrespectful to any of these women in this show. He calls them all queen. Uh, there was this one chick who tried to accuse him of looking at her chest, which was crazy because it would be... It, it's damn near impossible not to look at her chest because her, her chest was all the way down to her stomach, okay? It was wild. She wasn't working with anything. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoos? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. You know, women I deal with, they don't have hair on their don't arms. Don't do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest, Don't do queen. too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body you just parts, wasn't looking at my eyes what it is. No, I was looking I was at the hair on your anyways arms, queen. she asked me the question yes <laughs> so he comes back he's like nah i was looking at the hair on your arms <laughs> bruh and i'm like okay it is what it is she, if she got hair in her arms and the cameraman the cameraman did a she does got hair in her arms that's nasty that's nasty i understand him that's a reason why i'm not really fond of uh, many latina women because they always got hair on the arms bro it's just like uh, uh it's nasty it's disgusting that's just me but he he points it out it just is what it is because this one girl was like well i didn't have a problem with you being a personality but it seemed like you were trying to get on all the girls and she tries to get on him, talking about, hey, you a Ninja Turtle, you not really, you know, you, you don't make that much, you probably got a roommate at home. Since you wanna come at everybody over here, I'm gonna get at you too. You kinda look like a Ninja Turtle, you're not that cute. You, you need to relax, uh, you stocky uh, as hell. The way you was coming, you just act like you got it all like that, and I guarantee you probably got a roommate at home, and it's just not giving anymore. Yeah. And it just goes to show that a lot of these women um, not all, but many of these women like that will bite their tongue, right? Until they get something, until they get what they want, they will hold their tongue. So you know those type of people that will always hold something against you and they'll bring it up at the most opportunistic times for them, where it's like, hey, you remember what you did this time, or blah, 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 or if you reject them, right? You're talking to her and you're like, you're just not really feeling her, you reject her. And she's like, well, I didn't like you anyway because this, 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 right? And she just tries to, you know, just to shoot at you. There are people like that, and I despise people like that. And she is that type of person. And so he, what, what he says is, well, hey, I got 100K in the bank. Uh, uh, I, you know, I live by myself, okay? I'm, I'm a plumber. I make good money. Well, let me say this, Queen. I'm a licensed plumber. So, I live, and I, I do live, real estate I live and property management. I live downtown. So what I live downtown. I stay by myself, Queen. You know, and you're not even qualified to be even you dealing with me. You say everybody not qualified. To, you definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. <laughs> and I don't have an issue with that. Plumbers do make good money. They make really good money. Nevertheless, he ends the show with, I would say, the baddest one on, you know, 
on the panel, okay? <laughs> the baddest one on the show, this nice little thing he walks off with. That falls apart because apparently she was on some sock time, okay? She was, uh, she gave her number to another dude's, uh, another producer or something, so he canceled that out. Nevertheless, right, a very harmless interaction with all of these women. He didn't insult them, right? He didn't call them out their names. He, he was just, he was just a little aggressive. That's just who he is. That then leads to apparently him getting fired because what happened, I'm assuming, I'm alleging that it was predominantly women who called in, who found out where this man worked, okay, and called up the company over 500 times he puts on his Instagram and got him fired. Now, that is probably the most diabolical, heinous thing uh, that someone can do. Absolutely. This man, looking for love, he doesn't do anything. He's not putting hands on anyone. You got some of these women who are who, whose hands are being put on them and she won't even call the police. Her hands are being put on them and they won't even do anything. You got some of these women who, who their dudes aren't even providing for them or the child that they may have, okay? Nothing's been done. Won't do anything to him, right? Won't do anything to that person. But somebody, this black man who, 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 who's working, who has a job, a good paying job, but is a little aggressive, this is who you get fired? Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So for to attack this dude who didn't do any harm to anyone, I think that's wicked, right? Absolutely wicked, diabolical. And people were bringing it up because he started a GoFundMe. Now, apparently, I didn't know this, but what he says in his GoFundMe, he was only looking to raise $1,000. Okay, that's it. $1,000. He actually ended up getting 7 k if I recall, the last time I looked at it. But he was saying, hey, I have, you know, I do, you know, side work. And I do side work for single parents, fathers, and, you know, single fathers and, and veterans. So I just need, you know, this change to, to keep that up and running. And people, you know, want to say, I thought you had 100 k in the bank. I, I thought you had 100 k Listen, listen, listen. Him having 100 k in the bank, that has nothing to do with charity that he's doing. Okay, I don't know why people are acting like, well, if you had actually had 100K in the bank, you wouldn't be asking for money. Yo, his 100K is his 100K. Stuff that he was doing on the side, especially now that he doesn't have a job, why on earth would you put your money that you have aside, right, and use it for charity? That, that, that doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense, especially when now you have no income because the job you were at, these mofos got you fired. So I don't have any problem him asking for a thousand to do free work for people who are in need. So it, it's just, it's really crazy how many people just try to attack the wrong ones. It's insane, especially within the collective, within the community. You have these people who should be attacked, who are exploiting the community, who are a, a leech, a leper in the community. They're fine, they're okay because they say something you like or they do something or they put out something that you like or you appreciate. And then you have people like this who may not, it may be a little rough around the edges, I'm gonna admit that, but if he's doing what he's saying he's doing, then he's a benefit. And he's a plumber. He has a skill. <laughs> he has a trade. And yet they go and attack him because you don't like how he, I don't know, conversed, how he handles himself, even though he really didn't assault any woman, call them out of their name. It's just, it, it, it's really confusing. And it's unfortunate that this man, you know, it happened to this man. Hopefully he ends up starting his own company, but it, it, it's wow, the backlash that happened to this dude. It's wild. He was talking about how he wants to start a family. He wants this and that. And I'm just like, this is who you choose to get fired? Um, I look like I look for a woman that's not promiscuous and um, has a career going for herself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And now what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker, being promiscuous, <laughs> not cleanly. Um, don't have a career or nothing really going for yourself. This is who the guy you choose to get fired? It's wild, man. Um, some of you women are straight goofies. I'll say that. Okay, some of you women are straight goofies and that's why you're single. It's as simple as that. And I don't have a problem with that. I think that is fine. That's what should happen. Because there are a lot of women out there who not, who not ready, right? They not qualified to be a wife, okay? Just as he said, not qualified. A lot of these women aren't qualified to be a wife. They're not even qualified to be a girlfriend. And they sure as hell aren't even qualified to be a mother of your children. 
Okay, so you have to qualify yourself. That's how that works. And some of these men, same thing. The same thing. They're not qualified to be a boyfriend or a husband or, God forbid, a father. But some of you women make them that. You make them that. So it's, it's goofiness all around. It's goofiness all around. But for this guy, I hope he, uh, I hope he uh, uh, you know, comes out strong because th- this shouldn't have happened. To have this man lose his job, to have a black man lose his job, a good paying job over your bitterness, over you not liking how he talks to a bunch of random floozies crazy. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think, whether or not I believe Lucas Lucas, he shouldn't have been talking to them like that. That was disrespectful and rude, and he deserved to lose his job. That's what he gets. Or if he has to believe, uh, um, yeah. For those who think that way, there's a 99.9% chance there's no ring on your finger, boo-boo. <laughs> it's just, there's, su- there's such a high chance of that. It's, it's insane. And you are just the lowest of the lowest of the community, unfortunately. It's people like you with that mindset who are bringing us down. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. That's the reality of the situation. Anyways, if you happen to disagree, you know where to find me. Friday through Sunday, disagreement day, call in, we'll talk it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Was it justified, not justified? Up to you. Share and subscribe and oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys. Be amazing. And you're not even qualified.